Student volunteers gather during the lowest tide of every month on Pismo Beach in an effort to study and understand the Central Coast clam population. The survey is part of an ongoing 10-year effort to collect data on the Pismo clams. During these four-hour surveys, volunteers dig for clams along the shoreline and shovel them into a cart. The clams are then rinsed off in the ocean to remove sand and then hauled back to the beach to be measured and recorded. The clams are then returned to their trenches where they begin to dig themselves back into the sand. The 10-year data set examines the clams' abundance and size over time, giving researchers an important insight into the invertebrates' population. Despite tough conditions, students say it's well worth the effort. Marissa Bills is the grad student in charge of the project. In the summer, we have to be here around 3 a.m., so that is definitely when we're questioning our life choices. Um, but this project is just so cool in so many different ways. And it's also really fun getting to work on a species that's actually doing well. Um, so they're really coming back in the last couple of years, which is super exciting. Issa Mattioli is a field team lead on the survey. I'm like really good friends with the other field team leads. And I think it's fun to come on the beach and dig. They're pretty cute. I didn't know that I was going to love clams as much as I do, but we all get pretty attached really fast. Clams clean and filter our coastal waters and act as an important food source for seagulls and otters. Reporting poaching, if you're seeing it, helps us just kind of like protect this population and hopefully see it come back and persist um, for, for a long time. For Mustang News, I'm Jessica Karp.